Hi guys, welcome to Transits and Tactics. And we are in gate 47, the gate of realization. And also there's a theme of oppression. So we're just gonna dive in. How are you keeping with this with this transit? Uh, are you sensing it? Are you feeling it? Um, I will tell you what is the biggest, I, it's so funny, I'm going to say aha moment of this transit i was terrified last transit in the gate 20, uh, 64 it was a gate of confusion and it was like for me personally it wasn't such a nice experience even though this is my uh, uh, my son my personality son so this is the energy very familiar to me and i was then reading about oh my god there's the next gate and there's more of this and what's going to happen what's this oppression about and and then this gate came in and even though there was kind of like a weird transition it's all about aha moments oh mm. my god if you mm. allow things to just unravel it's a lot of mental energy this is the ajna center um gate so there is a lot of mental energy so we have all this like um karmic wounds people from the past are kind of rising up you know i can feel like there's a lot of things that are coming up and and they are tough you know I, one of the um descriptions i read for this trans is like strap in this is going to be a horrible experience and the first day it was and then i got a download and and then i realized that this is it so if you don't try and look for it the amazing insights they're waiting to happen. Their the aha moments are waiting to happen if you let them. So that's the positive thing. This is the gate of realization. It's trusting that whatever you need to know will come to you. Whatever you need to, you know, realize will come to you if you just relax a little bit about it and you don't get attached to that mental um, activity and trying to look for the uh, insights and aha moments. That's where the confusion happens and you know what on the other side of this gate this is the gate 64 from last week right so um and this is something that if you have 64 in your design that this, this creates this whole channel of abstraction this is about trusting this is about these realizations and um so i definitely experienced this and i'm so interested to talk about before i go that uh, to uh, deeper into that i just want to give like a bottom line like we always do in the beginning right so the bottom line for me um the 47 the gate of realization a lot of things you're dealing with and if you allow things to happen then you might get the aha moment that will make sense full clarity full full clarity it's amazing it really is amazing but if you don't allow it if you start fighting these thoughts if you start getting really attached to 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 them you'll gaslight yourself into self-oppression you, you you know it's it's such a mental angst that's behind that when you start resisting or not resisting but not allowing the time jumping in too much and, and pushing when you need to slow down <laughs> to allow this all to unravel. And then we have Earth in gate 22, and this is the gate of openness. Um, and it's an emotional center gate, right? So we have emotional waves and I, I definitely feel them. And that's what in the beginning, first day, I, I definitely felt there was like a lot of emotional waves. And it's a very interesting experience because um, if, you, if you see it in a correct way, you can allow these emotions to to really have a very positive effect so in a way this is about being able to feel other people's feelings and open up to them or listen and really get how other people are feeling and like develop i would say the sense of compassion even with that so it's a really really good um uh, time right now to open up to people and to let people open up to you because again with the 47 at play the aha moments the realizations these downloads as a result of this can happen so this is really really good so don't let the negative feelings control you stay calm stay honorable and i found also a trick which i then saw in one of the transit descriptions like as an echo bury yourself in work focus on work or good in a good sense you know anything that you're into some things that you need to do you know because this is there's a lot of moments and downloads that can happen that it, within this work and also you are getting your mind focused on something else rather than your emotions 
And that has been definitely a savior for me this week. I can sense that the moment I go into this dark zone with emotions and I have a completely open emotional center. So this isn't an alien world for me, all these emotional waves, right? And I'm feeling that I'm like, what the hell is happening right now? I don't know how to make sense of them. So by focusing and shifting and saying, okay, what do I need to study? What do I need to um, create? Wow amazing amazing things has been created already or as i was studying you know things like the insights because we have this gate that gives you the downloads and the insights so how can we improve that hey focus on something to learn focus on something that you were putting off but now is the time because that's how you're going to distract yourself from this meant uh, this emotional um, energy if it's affecting you um so Yes, the creativity, that's your marketing tactic. Uh, I will talk about it a little bit later, but I, I am interested in finding out, Anita, from you, how you're experiencing this transit. And you have the channel of abstraction, 4764, channel yeah? Channel so abstraction. tell us all about it. And it's really obstructive if you don't know how to utilize it properly. Like out of balance, it feels like you're stinking thinking. You're kind of going, you know, I have this brilliant idea. How am I going to pull it together? And I can't figure it out. And, you know, what's the point, right, when you're out of balance? So that's triggered, that's stressed, that's whatever. Or you're you're literally banging your head against a brick wall trying to do things the way you learn to do them. And it's just not working. So this is when what's the point is a really good indicator to, yeah, what is the point of doing something that's not working? Hang on, I need to step back here and allow new ways of, new solutions, new ways of doing this so that I can actually adapt this to my way of doing it. And so it is, it is brilliant when you allow those ahas, as you said, you know, focus on what you want is a very good, good um, tip to give people, but also, Focus on opening up the 22 to the guidance that is there for you. When you ask the question, don't fill your head with all the, you know, when you ask the question, let your mind open for uh, the aha to drop in. The aha, and it will make sense and it will be clear. But I want to give you a bit of a context, if that's okay, with, with what's going on around. Like, there's a lot going on in the transits, but, you know, there's some big planets that are at the last degree of their sign. And what this means is endings, completions. And really what we're ending is ways that we have been thinking, rules that we have been applying, dreams that we thought were our dreams, we're ending those because we're driving ourselves distracted and miserable trying to achieve things that aren't ours. You know, a good example is I remember thinking, oh, I'd love to travel. I'd see people with their computer on the beach and this is fantastic. Well, I thought that would be a great idea. And when I had my computer on the beach, it was sandy. It wasn't great. I decided, you know, I decided, no, you know, when I'm traveling, I don't want my computer with me. That's been my preference. Right? That is a big one, isn't it? It's such a lie. All that, the yeah. lifestyle, the beach lifestyle for an entrepreneur, it's such a lie. You do not want to work when you're there. This is like the bottom line. We're buying into, we're just like being info idiots, buying exactly, into all this right? stuff. Exactly. But it looked good. You know, it, it. I thought it was a good idea at the time. And the other yeah. thing is these energies are connected to how are we contributing? How are we sharing our gifts? Are we sharing them in a way in our business, in our marketing that is reciprocal for us? Or are we continuing this this crazy of doing things the way we think we should and and literally not getting the results and sticking with it? Sometimes quitting is good. And a lot of people find, oh, I can't quit. I never quit. I'm kind of there. No, sometimes quitting is realizing this isn't working. It's the yeah. smart choice. It's not necessarily something wrong, right? So, and the other thing is, so it's really these endings are, where am I limiting myself in how I do my work and how I contribute in my work in my life? And um, becoming more aware, the nodes are saying, yeah, just look at these beliefs and rules and regulations and evaluate them through your inner wisdom, your inner authority, your inner decision strategy. 
so that you can genuinely, genuinely choose. So you're not choosing from the mental anguish. You're not choosing from the emotional drama. You're choosing from your essence. Mm -hmm. And it makes a big difference. And part of that, a big emotion thing is, is something else that's in the that's in the transits that is well worth noticing is Mars moved into cancer. So cancer is the, the you know, it, it can be the victim, needy, unsafe, insecure energy, or it's super intuitive. So this works beautifully if you're connected to your intuition, um, but it is dredging up old family stuff, old places where you didn't feel safe in the family or with your friends or in your work. And so to be able to look at those as an observer will really, really help. So understand that the emotion, probably if you do tapping or if you do different, you know, there's a number of ways of, of helping that emotion come to completion because that's part of the transits. Let that emotional attachment come to completion so that we can develop healthier relationships moving forward. You know, it's, it's I love it. You just described exactly what's been going on since this transit started with me. So this is the Mar Mars, Mars in Cancer to blame too for yeah. the exact themes. Yeah. And and yes, my, my go-to um, was to actually like dive into work. And it's so interesting, guys, before we started recording this and we, we went right into the recording because sometimes, you know, you start sharing and you're like, oh my God, this is good stuff. And we will forget to say it then when we're recording. Uh, Anita said that she woke up or, uh, in the middle of the night and she had a download right you were talking about having a download about this transit and the energies i woke up on um monday um and and the transit started here in my time zone very early in the morning you know so i woke up at seven i think it started at four o'clock i started i woke up at seven and i had a massive massive download in what my next book should be and in 12 hours that book was literally created it's not finished yet but it was created i was like wow everything made sense right it was digesting for months and months and months and then another download came in this morning and i think that this is like this is exactly the thing you know there is just if you allow things you know focus on what you want but then don't push it don't be like oh my god how can i figure this problem out just let it be and it comes in in this beautiful instant clarity download so be ready for that you know for me is it's to go into studying rather than and and you know i've been listening to a lot of actually a rao ruhu this this week with the manifestor energy I, I was like well you know who shall i listen to who can kick me out of these emotional waves and like initiate me into something and you know i turn to a manifestor so my go-to trick when i'm stuck you know so you it's it's not necessarily needs to be some sort of like a modality but if you and please if you if you like breath work actually if you're a two line for example uh, one of the things i've learned and it's so so cool um about two line being mouth breather breathers so it's really good do you actually breathe through your mouth enough maybe you need to do breath work that is through your mouth mouth a little bit more if you're one line through the nose it's so interesting to know these things you mm. know because they help you uh, get back into balance i'm going to use anita's uh, word here that you mentioned here earlier because this year it's all about the balance this is the eighth universal year in uh, numerology and it is all about be staying in the balance mm, yes there is you know other interpretations talking about success talking about you know um this very material year and uh, maybe yes but if i look back you know i so far for me a journey was to stay in balance by the way eight is in, in numerology is my personal number as well so this is like the theme of my life but it's all about if you get off balance, you're going to get really off balance. Mm -hmm. So try and get yourself grounded and back in. So this is what we're, I th feel like That's... every time we, we talk about it, we just like literally this theme continues. Yeah, that's so true. And there's one thing I want to say about Mars as well. Normally Mars stays on a sign for about six weeks. This is going to be in and out of cancer over the next, until mid-April next year. So just to be aware, you know, because... Mars doesn't like being in a water sign. Mars likes to be in fire or air. It doesn't like the water sign. So it'll be saying, get over yourself energy, you know? <laughs> so just to make sure that, you know, you realize that there is a lot of family, old, deep, old wounds showing up. And the eclipses are very much about relationships, that evaluation again about, you know, how do you manage 
the crisis because there's always a sense of crisis before you do something new or yes. before you let something go. So you need to know how you manage a crisis because there's so much change coming up. It's really worth your while or else you'll get stuck in the flipping crisis and you won't get out of it. Right. So so it's with all the energies together, they're very disruptive. So it's more important than ever to keep ourselves centered, grounded, connected to nature. And with this 47 gate, this is the one that starts flipping the mind <laughs> that starts us going, you know, I need it. I need this information. And the key is the opposite. Hmm. I'm just going to open up for my aha, you know, it's it's like my kids used to call me the, the, the human sniffer because I would, they would say, mom, can you tune in to where such and such is? Because they'd be looking for it everywhere. And I can go, hmm, I wonder where that is. And the next thing immediately it comes up to me. I open that drawer and there it is, right? We all know it. As soon as you stop looking for something, you find it, right? It's, it's an oxymoron. Is that the right word? I don't know. Yeah, no, it, it is. What, what you just said about fixating on something, you know, uh, with this 47, like really trying to in the negative. And when we're saying negative, it's not bad. It's just like it's it's a lower frequency Um. um Focus. form so yeah so so we just need to be we really need to just be aware this is a big awareness is the biggest uh, weapon or you know tool you can have a magical magic wand you can have in life and this is what human design is all about it's about awareness so you know that for example in the lower frequency this mental energy will push you into trying to uh, get to the bottom of things or trying to have that aha moment or realization or trying to make sense and you're going to start trying and i know this week that be like a thought and i know this is not the right i know it's incorrect thought i know that this is not going to do me any good if i start drilling into this but like being the first line obviously i want to dig 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 like with the you know and and i feel like it's slipping out <laughs> sometimes i'm saying to myself hold back you know the week will pass you won't have this pressure anymore but it's slipping out so we can like slide into it but this awareness is such a powerful thing because i can see what i'm doing so i can mm -hmm. stop myself even if it slipped out i don't go deeper or and i'm aware so i'm in control and i love that as a first line again you know this is all about like security i love the fact that i can say okay hang on a second i am now behaving in this you know how can i move this into a, a better energy so for me as i mentioned already several times go study go focus on your work focus on something else switch just switch and it does really work so very very interesting energies uh, this week anita do you have anything to add before we wrap up yeah i was just gonna qualify our you know um ex What's the word? I just wanted to emphasize what you were saying about flip, flip from the negative thought to the there's a difference between a negative thought that has emotional attachment where you're angry or sad or disappointed to the neg to the thought that's just calling out what's actually not working. You know, yeah. one is laced with all this energy and this is why the transits are so fun. They don't have that agenda. Mm. We can hard, we can borrow on this energy to let me see through what I'm fixating on so that I can really, instead of fixate, focus on what will bring me closer to my goal. So, yeah, it's great. It's really great. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Guys, I hope that you slow back it's like step back slow down a little bit if you feel like a lot of men mental anxiety get yourself distracted allow something whatever if it's meant to happen it will happen this week to you as anita just said you know we were tapping we we're borrowing this magic from the transit you know but if we don't if we're not aware this is why we're doing these videos if you're not aware that this is around you will think it's you we, we mm -hmm. all do right and then we will we become much harder on ourselves. So this is for me personally, it really is a great guidance to know this is not me. This is an external influence. I know I can feel myself sometimes super affected, but I know that this is not me. So I can wait it out or I can leverage, you know, like this week. Now we still have a couple of days of this transit. I want more downloads because the ones that came were awesome. There is so much progress. There is so much clarity now what to do. And, uh, you know, with quitting as well, this is one of the downloads very just as a demonstration. One of my downloads was about quitting a certain way of thinking that I've developed a few years before because of a negative experience. So past coming up, you know, karma 
karmic wound and just letting it go and saying, why am I saying this? Why am I limiting myself in this? Now I know that I can just like quit that thinking and move forward. And, and just before we started recording, I was like already implementing and that's going to bring more prosperity, more abundance, more creativity for me. So there you go. So sometimes this is something that holds you back and it's not negative as in painful or in terms of, you know, emotion or somebody else did something wrong. It just could be the way you, you were thinking. It's just limiting you and restricting you. So I wish for you, or we wish for you, um, that you just let it happen. Let it unveil and this is a perfect transit for that we will see you on the other transit as often please or as always please please uh, let us know what you think about these transits we would love to know we would love to know if there is uh, comments be, be below this video please leave comments or reach out to us you know where to find us right mm -hmm. so it's all great guys we will see you in the next transit bye